Okay, so in this part I'm going to show you how to make some detail for the normal map and the ambient occlusion map. You can see that I have completed the normal maps and ambient occlusion maps for other details like scope, grip and laser sight and also the magazine. You can see I've prepared in Photoshop a normal map that we are going to use and these are just simple screws uh, i've made them in maya uh, i've made just normal height poly mesh and i've baked a normal map to a simple plane so we can grab this kind of normal map and paste to our uh, weapon normal map So you can see I'm doing it right now. Uh, I am in the main weapon normal map file. And of course we have to scale these screws and put in different places of the weapon. Of course this kind of uh, little details can be also made directly in Photoshop. You don't have to make a high poly mesh and bake normal map. You can just make uh, this kind of details in Photoshop using for example a uh, XNormal plugin for Photoshop. And I will also show you how to do this in this part. So you can see I have a reference of this part of the uh, weapon. And what I'm doing right now, I'm setting, uh, I'm trying to open a blend, blend blending modes, uh, blending options, and we have to turn off a uh, blue channel for this uh, detail. It's very important uh, to turn off this blue channel and we set a, a mode to an overlay. Uh, this will make our normal map work properly. So right now we are just refreshing the texture and trying to see what result we have. So what I'm going to do is just uh, duplicate this layer and we have something around 10 other places where we have to put this little screw detail. So I will do this just right now.
So you can see we are skipping here because it's too boring to watch how I'm copying just uh, the same layer over and over again. So you can see I put uh, these screws in the places where it should be and this is how it looks right now. So right now we will move to make some details on the switches, on these switches and we will create uh, just a simple lines and uh, we will use an XNormal plugin for Photoshop to convert these uh, black and white lines to a normal map. So you can see I'm creating just few uh, white lines. So right now I'm going to preview uh, these lines and of course it's incorrect uh, to leave it th this way but uh, I just want to uh, see if the pos position of these lines is correct and uh, then we will convert this, these lines to uh, normal map. And you can see I'm adding a black background for these uh, white lines and uh, I will merge these layers together and I will use an XNormal plugin with this kind of options that you can see to generate a normal map from this black and white image. So the image was uh, pretty sharp, so I was using a blur tool uh, to make it a little bit more smooth. And now you can see our lines uh, looks pretty okay. Of course we have to delay uh, these outside edges just to make everything uh, clear. Right now we will make uh, some details for this uh, second switch and 
I was thinking at the beginning that the checker will be a good idea, but uh, finally I've decided to create uh, my own pattern. And of course for this one we have to also disable a blue channel and set it to overlay. So I think it's a little bit too intensive right now. So I will tweak it probably a little bit. And of course I will do uh, all these different 
and switches and I will come back to you and show you the final results and also these little, little uh, letters So you can see uh, how it looks right now. You can see uh, the, the, these patterns that I've added and some letters. And you can see this pattern on the grid. And this is just a normal map created in uh, Photoshop, of course. And it's really a good idea to extract an ambient occlusion map from this normal map and of course add it to a ambient occlusion map of course. So you can see I'm just duplicating this normal map that I've created for this grid and I've put it uh, I've put this uh, normal map to ambient occlusion map and now I will use just this normal plugin uh, and I'm using function uh, called uh, normal to cavity and you can see I'm just converting this normal map to something like this of course we have to use levels to tweak this a little bit and this will add to so, some kind of uh, additional effect to the final result that we can see on the screen of course we have to make some adjustments and delay these uh, ugly uh, dark edges around this so it's just an additional ambient occlusion map for this little pattern So maybe it's not really visible or right now you can see with our normal map that it is really here. Of course it will be visible way better uh, after applying specular maps. So, of course, we have to repeat this process for these screws. I won't also add for them an ambient occlusion 